Yo, YouTube, what up? It's your boy, Shy City Trucker, checking back in with you guys. Back as promised with all the questions that you guys put on the comments, and I said I was going to address them in the next video and kind of, you know, answer things that you guys wanted to talk about. So I picked uh, one, two, three, four, four. You know, I didn't want to keep you guys tied up too long, and I'm going to go ahead and answer them questions. If you don't mind, if you don't mind, I'm going to put the uh, names of the person who put the question there so that way you guys know that I'm actually, you know, speaking specifically to you. So the first one's going to be uh, Sherwin Brown. How long did you have to be at Snyder before you could take your truck elsewhere? There's no actual set point, like um, how long you have to be with Snyder before you can go somewhere else. What does matter is they want to make sure your truck note is paid up. You cannot be in the hole at all or owe any monies on that uh, on that lease. You have to be current. Once you're current, you can go to another carrier. Now, trying to find another carrier, I don't know if you notice or not, it has to be an approved carrier. What that means is it has to meet Snyder's safety score or their safety policy. So it has to be sat satisfactory or unrated. If those two things have been met and you're actually... Um, up to date on your truck note, they'll want you to have a, um, a letter of um, intent to hire, and you just go on to the through the steps, and you know next thing you know you just go ahead and lease on to the next carrier. So it's really not difficult, and there's no specific time frame. Just make sure you're caught up on that um, on your um, on your note. So hopefully that answers your question, and you know it's just really smooth smooth sailing. So it's it's not difficult, and you don't have to you know, stick around for, you know, forever before you want to leave. Uh, second one, Mario Cartwell. How long did you, uh, how did you break away from Snyder? Well, how I broke away from Snyder was I started looking at different carriers first. That's the first thing I did. And before I pulled the trigger, I made sure I was in contact with my representative and giving her DOT numbers so she can look up in what's called the Safer website. It's the, um, FMCSA website that has all the carriers information on it that Snyder can look at you can look at and they'll you know say yay or nay once they gave me a green light on two carriers that I actually chose then I just went through the process of you know going back and forth with emails and what's gonna be a really big thing is insurance coming off of Snyder's group insurance at Snyder the carrier a lot of other carriers who have group insurance the trucks that Snyder Finance has, especially the newer trucks, they're they're quoted market value or just way too high. And it's going to be hard to insure those trucks. And if they do, you're going to be paying way more than you should. So what I did, I went and got my own insurance, and then I went on to the next carrier. So, you know, hopefully um, that points you in the right direction. Uh, next one, this one, this one here, this guy here, man. Tim Trucking, man. What's up, man? How do you successfully pick up lot ledgers? Well, Mr. Tim... Everybody, Tim is over there at Landstar. He's doing doing real good, man. Real real nice guy. Um, everybody go check out his channel. I know he's uh, back on YouTube and, and doing some things like that. Now, I know this question of how to pick up Lot Lizard is a joke. You know, I know he's not um, serious about that at all. I just, you know, decided to make some humor and, you know, put that along with the questions. Um, last one here is uh, TJ. How did your venture at Snyder help you to the next, help you with the next level? Snyder taught me a lot about running lanes. I like to run the Midwest. That's where you can find me. Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, Michigan, Wisconsin, a little bit of Kentucky and Tennessee, only because I know those loads go right back to Illinois or Indiana. So even though Snyder's load board wasn't paying the greatest with the freight they had, it was still running in the same direction as all the rest of the freight in the country. And I would write that down and I would study that load board and I would just know where to connect the loads. And actually now, as I look at public load boards, guess what? The same exact loads going the same exact places just for a whole lot more. But nonetheless, that's what it set me up for. So Snyder was not all bad. Looking at the load board, applying it to what I wanted to do later on, that's what helped me with. And safety. Safety was, you know, paramount when it came to some of the stuff I was doing as a company driver, even as a lease driver with Snyder. But, you know, some of the stuff that I really thought that was just relentless and just, oh my goodness, these guys with the safety come on is now like, like I say, second nature to me and I really do appreciate it. So those two things is, are what helped me with my venture to the next level. Running lanes and safety, but primarily 
we're all gonna be saved. We should be saved. But running lanes, you know, I, that's what I took with me to the next level. I'm gonna keep that with me forever, or at least as long as I'm driving trucks. So I, I ain't want to tie you guys up too long. Those are the four questions I picked out and, and, and answer. But you know, as always, you guys keep commenting and. You know, I'm going to keep responding and keep making videos on the stuff that you guys want. And we'll just go ahead and talk about that. So hopefully this one didn't run too long. I'm going to let you guys get back to, you know, whatever it is you guys were doing and just check me out, all right?